I'm Caitlin Narciso, a travel and food journalist, and today I'm exploring the south coast in Niagara, starting at Crystal Beach. When I think of Niagara, I definitely do not think about all of this. This is incredible. Crystal Beach is such a vibrant little beach town. It's so amazing here and right in the heart of South Coast in Niagara. Relax, you're on lake time. I think I'm having the soup of the day. Tequila? I think I'm gonna start with the nachos. For a drink, um, surprise me. Mexican food has been my favorite kind of food since I was a kid. So when I saw this place, I got super excited because they are known for their authentic Mexican cuisine. I can't wait to dig in. Nachos are always messy. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. Ridgeway Village Square. What a beautiful historic town. Some of the buildings in here have been here since the early 1900s. Happy in love, I feel like that's my vibe. After walking the quaint streets of Ridgeway, I am making my way to Brimstone Brewery. So fun and colorful. I think the thing I love the most about Brimstone Brewery is that it is a church converted into a brewery. And rather than getting rid of its history, it actually leans into it. So here we have the Sinister Minister and the Midnight Mass. Amen to that. Leaving Ridgeway, I continue my Niagara South Coast journey, heading to the Niagara Parkway in Fort Erie, to the terminus of the Niagara River and the beginning of Lake Erie. This friendship trail extends all along the south coast of Niagara, and you see people biking and rollerblading and really just enjoying themselves. For me, I'm just looking for an amazing patio to sit on and enjoy this beautiful riverside view. I think my favorite thing about this area is the proximity to the water and the fact that I'm eating an amazing dinner right now overlooking the United States of America. Like, crazy. What an incredible day exploring Niagara's South Coast. This is Caitlin Narciso and this is my Niagara experience.